I grew up knowing that I loved making things and I just wasn't sure how to pursue that as a career. But once I was introduced to design, I knew that it was something that was perfect for me. The design program allows us to design various products like lamps and chairs and suitcases. Um, but for this specific project, it was really cool to see real world application of a product and how it helps an individual. So over the past five years, Brigham Young University has brought nursing students to India to help work on public health projects and do public health assessments. Haridwar, India is on the Ganges River. It's a holy city. It's like the religious home for Hindu people. The medical clinic in this region serves the women and children in the community. In the communities we work in, there are no toilet facilities and women are going into the jungle or into the fields to go to the bathroom. Year after year, as we've held focus groups with the women of these communities, they've expressed the same concerns over and over. They're worried about sanitation, and they're also worried about their own safety as they go to use the bathroom. We decided to meet with the design team here at Brigham Young University and, and talk about solutions and how we could help address this issue. So in the beginning of this project, uh, two of the main problems we had to overcome were the cultural aspects and the distance. We did a lot of research on this project and we used the internet a lot, but we learned once we went there that the internet doesn't know everything. And we learned so much from interviewing these women. This experiential learning opportunity is really the only way that students can meet these women face to face and understand their environment and the problems that they deal with every day. So we have to really try to put ourselves in their shoes. After we gathered all of our research and collected a lot of information, we came back and started designing and testing out prototypes. One of the prototypes that we designed was a pop-up shield. There were a lot of challenges to overcome when it came to actually prototyping the shields. It's a lot of trial and error. The wire was too thin or the wire was too thick. On our research trip, we noticed that lots of women carry water bottles and this is because they need something to wash with. Often women were ashamed or it made them targets and so they would try and hide these water bottles. It gave us the idea to modify their water bottles that would allow them to hide them more easily or have to take less water. So right here we are 3D printing a model of the bottle cap that we're going to put on top of the water bottles. This is the seventh iteration. We make prototype after prototype after prototype and just keep reiterating it until we find the best prototype that we have. So the students landed on three main solutions, a pop-up screen, uh, something that the women could wear when they go to the bathroom, and then also something that they could use to clean themselves. After we finished the prototypes, we went back to India and had more interviews with the women and got their feedback on the products that we had designed. These women gave us some fantastic feedback on how we can keep making these prototypes even better. They wanted a shield that went all the way around their body, which you think we would have thought about, but we did it. They also wanted them to be different colors. A lot of the clothing options in India are very colorful and very decorative. The end goal is that we turn these solutions over to them and they can produce their own solutions. I feel like my education has been more in my hands than it ever has been before. Something that I'm really passionate about is women's issues. It's been amazing that the design program has been able to give me this opportunity that aligns so well with what I want to do later in my life. India is such a special place. Religion is at the forefront of their community, and that really impacted me to really think about who I am as a designer and how I want spirituality to play a role in how I design. We're hoping that this project can make a big difference for this community and that we can take the lessons that we've learned from this project and help improve safety and sanitation in other parts of the world. <laughs>